So my hotel is the Hyatt Regency downtown and it's actually pretty nice. The I've stayed in Chicago in various hotels and Airbnbs in the past and it's a city with limited space so the rooms are always really small but this is actually fairly spacious um, and I've got a great view I have to say. Um, all right so coming in I have a closet um, and I I don't really put anything in there. I usually don't, to be honest. The standard, the standard hotel fare, a, um, what do you call that? <laughs> Iron. You can tell I use those all the time. I can't think of what they're called. And we have our selfie mirror here. <laughs> um, so yeah, me and my coolie bar pants. <laughs> and my top is from Ann Taylor and my Anna Luisa necklace here and my bracelet. You see, focus, focus, there we go. And my Totoro socks. <laughs> And just coming in the bathroom here, bathroom, bathtub, and I actually have this, uh, whoa, poor mirror <laughs> here that's kind of handy because you can flip it around and stare at yourself. And then the bathroom comes with this Kenneth MD, dermatologist approved skincare. I wonder if they put that in here just for, just for the dermatology meeting crew, or if this is in every room. I think it's in every room, but that would be funny. And it's nice to give little cotton balls as well. Um, I feel as though that's something that usually is not, is not provided, which is nice. And a little shower cap too. And okay, so moving right along, here's the bed. Not too, not too special. Television. Here are the uh, overpriced snack selection. Isn't this, don't these snacks look suspiciously old to you all? I mean, comment below, but I don't know. Something about the Pringles, looks, they look a little, you know, bedraggled. And these boxes of snacks. I don't know, these, I, I'm curious as to how long these peanut M&Ms have been sitting here. They look very, uh, very suspiciously yellow, the, the cardboard. <laughs> and I've got a nice workspace there. And this little thing I am rather enjoying. It's this, uh, I, I, you guys know I hate, um, I detest those uh, Keurigs. But this, I like these because they the the um, hotel provides you with Starbucks like one time use little pods. Granted, these aren't the most environmentally friendly things, but the reason that I like these is that they don't make like you put the water in there and it percolates through this disposable pod, but it doesn't make the entire apparatus taste like brewed coffee. So I like that because you know you can switch it from coffee to tea without your tea taste like coffee and I like like it for my personal use because I put instant oatmeal in one of these paper cups and just run plain water through it to, to cook the oatmeal into the paper cup and then it doesn't taste like coffee so I like these little CV1 gizmo doohickeys um, and I just kind of I just kind of uh, prefer not to think about the hygiene of them I like to think that they're that they're clean, whatever. <laughs> Look at my beautiful view, though, of the river walk. I think this is the best part. Chicago, I I think I, I've i only been to Chicago in the winter time. So uh, this is kind of the first time I'm appreciating Chicago in all of its glory. I've been to Chicago, I suppose, in the summer, but I was mostly out by the airport at a conference indoors the entire time. This is the first time I've been in the in the this is the first time i've been in the city in the summertime every time that i come here it is the dead of winter and it's icicle cold and i still have a good time but i just can't talk you can't really tolerate being outdoors for very long or you know really being around you just want to scurry in and out plus the not only is it cold that time of year but 
the uh, being close to the water around this downtown area it's always extra cold so I'm usually not able to I'm usually not able to hack it but yeah that's a little room tour so that is what is going on I'm gonna brew up a little coffee here and head on down get a little lunch I just reapplied went up to my room and reapplied a little um, I'm br I brought Elta MD UV clear with me because it comes in that 1.7 ounce bottle so it's perfect for for travel restrictions and uh, so I've got that on and put my sleeves on I'm actually cold <laughs> in comparison to Houston I find it cold here but I am out and about going to get some lunch so I thought I'd bring you all along with me but I'm really enjoying the talks at the conference. I think of you guys frequently. <laughs> no talks on serums <laughs> or essences. <laughs> Just real dermatology, you know, all that made up stuff they sell you guys. <laughs> There's a fire in this building? That's scary. <laughs> this lady doesn't know she has another camera crew on her <laughs> in its doctor. <laughs> Clandestine local news reporter. Hope everyone's alright in that building. Oh look, Nando's. Alright, I adore Nando's and you guys know I enjoyed the Ciccone Jolies and I always was envious of them when they would eat at Nando's and I've seen other YouTubers eat there as well. They have one in Washington DC and it's wonderful but now that I'm vegan there are a few new options on their menu that are vegan but the item that I most adored pre-vegan and, and now is actually their macho peas but I don't think I can eat it now because it doesn't, it's not, I don't think it's vegan. If somebody could correct me on that, I would love it. But that's the one item on the menu I really, really would seek out. But I don't think I can eat it. But it looks like since my last trip here, Chicago got a Nando's. They also have a Nutella cafe. <laughs> Feels, it actually feels good to be out here in the, in the sun. Uh, I'm freezing. I have had a hard time getting warm here. I miss. Uh, I miss. Uh, I never thought. I, it's hard to believe that you would miss the heat of Houston right now. But I'm feeling a little chilled. Take that, Costco. If, if you're gonna deprive me of my organic rice cauliflower, I guess I'm gonna have to come to Protein Bar and get some. <laughs> Hopefully they're open. I haven't been, oh no, is it closed? Ugh, lame. Always enjoyed this place, oh well. on the front of the Art Institute of Chicago remind me of the lions on the front of the public of the New York Public Library <laughs> except the uh, Chicago the Art Institute of Chicago lions look a little bit more menacing than the noble ones in front of the uh, New York Public Library what a beautiful building though huh
I can't get uh, rice cauliflower since I guess the world doesn't want me to eat rice cauliflower. I'm gonna go with yellow squash here at Bibi Bop. <laughs> Bibi Bop. Reminds me of Bibi Bob. <laughs> So you get to choose your protein, you can do tofu or veggie, sauces, and do they have kimchi, it's an extra. So I got the, so I got the vegetable option, um, which is, they all come, you can get black beans on any of them, so to me that's substantial protein. I did, decided not to get the tofu. But I got it as a salad. You can either get it as a salad, um, as a rice bowl, or as a noodle bowl. And I got the kale, purple cabbage, the yellow squash, which lured me in here, cucumber, kimchi, radish, corn, and it's topped with a sesame ginger dressing. I had them drizzle on it. They have a variety of different dressings that you can get, and all of them, with the exception of two, are vegan. Um, it was pretty cheap, only $6.99, and then with tax it was $7.78. And they have complimentary water, so that is what I'm consuming. But I'm still really loving my necklace and my bracelet and my little earrings. So that's what I'm doing. We'll just do a little shout out to Christiana, flip side of the moon. skin disease like what it looks like on the skin but we also have to know what the biopsy looks like and how to interpret the biopsy um, so I enjoy the combination of the two it's one of my favorites so that's what I'm headed back for but the session has this thing where the session has this thing where the presenter will ask the audience questions and you can chime in your answer and it's all done through this app and the app is really cool. The problem with the app, however, is that it drains your cell phone battery like really quickly. It's notorious. It does this to everyone. I mean, it's just like really, really draining. So I, I'm hoping I'll be able to participate in it in the entire thing. Uh, but that's that's my biggest complaint with that. But otherwise, the conference is, is pretty well laid out. Lunch was delicious, probably all in my teeth. Say lovey. What good are teeth? Uh, not for uh, gnashing and macerating our foods. Oh, I went to a talk this morning on on diet and dermatology. There's not a whole lot of data for any diets in the skin, but one of the things that uh, seems to be really important with probiotics is that they're kind of useless without fiber. Uh, because if you're not... Sorry, a bus just came by. If you're just taking a probiotic supplement and thinking you're good, you're not. Because you, I guess you have to, um, to have them with food. Otherwise, the bacteria don't really have anything to, like, go off of, you know? It's, uh, it's kind of like having the best running shoes, but, uh, but, uh, 
your feet don't fit in. This building's really cool. All right, so Diet Coke. I'm not gonna lie. You guys know I used to have a serious Diet Coke addiction. And I gave, I gave it up cold turkey. I don't drink it at all. I mean, it's a slippery slope. If I have a sip, I can feel it pulling me back in, so I just walk away. But I really wanted to try the new flavors. So comment below on if you've tried them, if they're any good. Just, just, just humor me. Tell me what they taste like. Speak to me. <laughs> this um, artwork thing, thing. sorry, I'm, I've just offended every artist in the world. This artwork thing. <laughs> sculpture is so cool. I tried to film it yesterday when I was coming in and I included a clip of it in my drive in the cab ride to my hotel. But it's got these like moving faces on it. I love it. It's a fountain. Although I'm sure it's a, a uh, Legionella hazard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Legionnaire's disease. Debbie Downer. All right, some obligatory Chicago bean footage. I don't have time to uh, dart up there just yet, but maybe I'll maybe I'll buzz over there at some point. I've been over, I, I've seen it before. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, and then that other that other uh, UV scatterer back there. <laughs> Ah, the true gem of this Hyatt Hotel. The Hallmark Channel with what appears to be a non-stop Christmas uh, special marathon. You guys know this year I got sucked into during Vlogmas with my mom, uh, the Hallmark Channel's Christmas sh shows on the weekend, but <laughs> they have them here for your binging pleasure. I guess it's a summer special. <laughs> But, ooh, check out the view. Beautiful river, river sand. Anyways, guys, I've been at the conference and I just am taking a brief little break to come up here. I wanted to conclude the vlog. Tonight, um, I've got to work on, I just wanna practice. Um, tomorrow I'm giving a talk. <laughs> I guess I didn't tell you guys that. I'm giving a talk tomorrow and I like to just practice the slides what I'm saying in advance the night before, just as a little rehearsal. So I'll be doing that this evening. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog though um, and are having fun with my, my Chicago adventures here as much as I'm able to show you in the conference, obviously. Filming is completely prohibited, so I don't wanna get kicked out um, <laughs> for filming at the conference, but. Yes, just had to put my badge back on. But anyways, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you stick around tomorrow for more Chicago fun. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.